morning guys, we're out on the East Yorkshire coast today um, at Alborough. Hopefully we'll find some fossils. Right, we've got our first uh, partial fossil here, guys. A section of an ammonite. Hopefully, we'll find a full one. That's fossil number two guys, uh, Gryphia, also known as a devil's toenail. This is interesting guys, this is a uh, coal. You need to check it because sometimes it could be jet. Um, and obviously jet's quite um, a nice thing to find next to it. Unfortunately, uh, what's left of the little crab? So I'm just having a look closer to the clay and I noticed this dude, I first noticed this marking here, just wedged it out with my hammer and inside we've got a really, by the looks of it, a decent ammonite. You just see inside there. I'm chuffed with that. Brilliant. So just looking up here guys, we've got another big Gryphia, big uh, devil's toenail, there it is. I'm doing this one handed so I apologise. Back with you in a minute. Right guys, I've just chipped enough away to pull it out of hope, yep there we go. That's a, quite a decent one to be honest with you chipped away there unfortunately. There we go. Got another graph here. Devil's toenail here. Not as big as the last one.
So I'm spending a little bit of uh, time today closer to the cliffs. Um, obviously when you do this, you've got to um, be careful. Um, you've got to be vigilant in case there is a fall. Um, there's not very many rocks about, that's really the reason why I'm doing it today. And I've had a bit of luck already. Um, I've got that nice ammonite out, um, which I will crack open. Uh, I won't do it now because I haven't got a tripod. I'll wait till I get home and I'll film it and put it at the end of this video. But um, hopefully there's a few more fossils yet. Must be uh, Gryphia Day, another devil's toenail there. I tend to keep these, some, I keep the better looking ones, I throw them on the garden when I get in. Um, good decoration. <laughs> Right guys, I've just found something. I was just about to give this stone a whack to get it out when I noticed we've got an ammonite there. And you just see a bit more of it here. So I'll try and get that out and show you it. That is stuck in the clay, so I have to chip away a little bit. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be a good one. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's not there. Ugh. Oh well. Centre's missing. Thought we were going to have a, a nice one then. Oh well, let's find the next one. Ugh. Unfortunately, this little guy has seen better days. There he is. Not quite sure what it is. Obviously a fish. <laughs> it really is Gryphia day today. Got what looks like another chunky one. Yeah, it is. Devil's toenails. Right guys, I just found this nodule. I couldn't see anything other than a few white marks just there before I hit it. Um, and inside, We've got a beautiful ammonite. Now, I didn't film it because I haven't got my tripod, um, but I have still got the, the nodule I found earlier to crack at the end of this video. I'll do that when I get home and I can film it properly. But no, that's a, a nice ammonite. It's a bit of calcite on the outer ring, but you know, it's absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully that'll clean up quite well. I've just found this guys, um, it appears to be coal, um, but you have to check because sometimes it could be Whitby Jet, which is a gemstone and it's quite expensive when you find it. Um, what you do if you're on the beach to, to find out if it is, you find a white stone like this one. Now you rub it on the white stone, now if it comes up black it is chalk, but if it's a, like a light brown colour then you're looking at Whitby Jet. So as you can see, uh, that's come up black. So that unfortunately is uh, a piece of coal, but we'll keep searching. Big RAF bullet there. Copper rings that you find everywhere.
So it's uh, just started raining and guess which guy has left his waterproof jacket in the car? So that's the army um, telling me I've got to go back this way because they're exploding a lot of bombs that way. Oh well. Cheers boys. A million years too late, but you know, maybe one day. There we go. So, as you can see by the cliff there, there's been an absolutely huge fall in the last few days. Now, just where I've said about the huge fall, I've just noticed this. As you can see, we've had some ammonites in there at some point. Unfortunately, we've only got imprints now. So we've got here a partial um, bell and night. There we go. Almost lost it. Right, still got the tip on it. That used to be like a, a squid. I've just noticed this one in the clay as well. As you can see, there's a bit left of an ammonite there, but it's not worth taking because uh, it's gone basically. Oh well. That smoke in the distance, that's the army um, letting off bombs. Um, it's really loud actually. I'm probably a couple of miles away and it really did make me jump. Right, that's about it for today, guys. The weather's just turning as well. It's coming down a bit more. Um, it's been an okay day, a uh, few dacks. Um, I'll crack that one open if you stay tuned for the end of this video uh, to see what it looks like. Hopefully it'll be a nice one for you. Um, if you like what you've seen, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Hi guys, so the nodule I found on the beach, unfortunately when I split it open it was filled with calcite so it just shattered everywhere. Um, I've had a dig around in the garage and I found the nodule uh, to crack open for you so I'll just show you it now. So this is the uh, new nodule, um, as you can see it's a fairly chunky one. You can see the ammonite sticking out of the side of it. 
Now, there is a fault line in it, so hopefully I'm going to hit it along that line and it should crack open. I say should, it probably won't. <laughs> No, unfortunately it's taken part of the ammonite off there. Oh well. <laughs>